Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I want to show a SQL script to create multiple tables. All right, so here I have a SQL statement to create a table called uh, BigQuery. So I'm actually creating a uh, pipeline right now. And one of the tasks is to uh, scrape Reddit's posts uh, from different groups. And for each group, I want to have their own individual tables. And since the uh, SQL statement is going to be exactly the same, except the uh, table name is going to be uh, different based on the group name. So I thought we'll use this opportunity to uh, show you the uh, steps that I use to uh, create multiple tables. So this is going to be a pretty uh, advanced tutorial because we'll be using cursor and dynamic SQL. So right here, I already have a, a database called Reddit. And inside this Reddit database, uh, currently, there's only one table called BigQuery. And because when I uh, run the uh, pipeline, I don't want to uh, recreate the same table again, because uh, there'll be potentially be uh, data sitting inside a table. All right, so uh, so let's see. I'm going to uh, start by declare my uh, table variable. And I'll name the variable table list. And it's going to be a table uh, data type. All right, so for the uh, character count, let's set that to 150. All right, so this table list is going to uh, store the uh, group's name that I want to create tables for. So for example, we can treat uh, this table list variable as a table itself or a temp table. So that means that I can uh, insert value into uh, this table list. And for the table list variable, uh, there's only one column called value. So let's do a table name. All right, so here we're going to uh, insert the uh, table names into the table list uh, team table or the table list variable. All right, so here I'm uh, creating three tables. But we know this BigQuery table already exists uh, in my Reddit's database. So when I run the script, my script is going to uh, skip the third statement, which is going to be the uh, BigQuery table creation. Now let's create the remaining variables. And it's going to be the uh, SQL statement. And I'm going to declare the uh, SQL statement variable as far chart. And for the character count, I'm going to set that to max. All right, so this is going to be table name as far chart as well. And for the character count, let's set that to 150. All right, so here we're going to uh, create a cursor operation. So first we need to uh, give our cursor name Let's do uh, DB cursor. Then we need to declare the cursor uh, object. And it's going to be cursor four. And the uh, data source is going to be coming from table name, from table list. Now I want to open the uh, cursor object, followed by fetch next from. I want to uh, insert the cursor object into, and I want to pass the uh, value to the table name variable. Now I can uh, erase value from the table list object. Now here I'm going to insert a while loop. I'm going to check while uh, the fetch status is goes to zero. I want to uh, insert begin and statement. So inside the begin and uh, block, uh, this is going to be my operation. And I want to uh, first of all check if the table exists first. So I'm going to use the if not exists uh, statement. And select everything, from. I want to uh, reference the system.objects table, where object ID is equals to object ID function. I want to insert the uh, table name 
and for the uh, object type and for table is going to be uh, letter U. So uh, if this condition returns uh, true, then we know the table doesn't exist. Therefore, we're going to um, go ahead and create the table. Right, so let me grab the uh, SQL statement. And since I already uh, declared my SQL statement variable, so now we're going to uh, create the string to construct the table creation statement. I'm going to uh, copy the uh, SQL statement over. Here, give me a second. So here's the uh, SQL statement to create the uh, related table. But here, uh, I'm changing the variable name from value to uh, table name. All right, so basically, we're going to replace uh, the table name every time uh, when we uh, iterate the value from the table list uh, table. And once the table is created, I want to print message table followed by the table name created. Then we're going to execute the SQL statement. All right, so uh, this the uh, execution statement should go to the top. And once we create the table, we're going to uh, go to the next record by using the fetch next statement from, and we're going to uh, insert the cursor object into value. Actually, this should be a uh, table name. All right. So once the operation is complete, we need to close the uh, cursor object and deallocate the cursor object. And that's it. All right, so only uh, 56 lines of code, which is not too bad. Now, let me refresh my data set first. All right, so right now uh, in my readers uh, database, we can see that there's only one table called BigQuery. Now, if I go ahead and run the uh, SQL script, and here you can see that we iterated uh, three values, but only these two tables are created. Now, if I refresh my uh, readers database, expand the tables folder, I should now see uh, data analysis and the Python tables are created. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to share in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, see you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.